Hi, we're here with Richard Lemieux, author of Breakfast at Sally's. Richard, uh, you had it all and you lost it all. How did that happen? A lot of things, but like today, on, there are more and more people on the street today because of the economic crisis that's going on in this country who never expected to be there. I never dreamed I'd be homeless. My business changed, the climate of the business that I was doing changed. I didn't have the uh, ability to adapt, didn't build myself a safety net, if you will, uh, not only in the financial world, but also within people who could take care of me, especially uh, my family. Uh, and I ended up uh, living in my car. In the book, you introduce us to a lot of interesting characters who are also homeless, who in many ways helped you. How did your opinion about who the homeless are change? Who are these people who are out here today without a home? Homeless people are struggling every day just to eat, sleep, find a place to, to stay, to be sheltered. Uh, they are indeed, can be, just like they can be you, they can be your mother, they can be your father, they can be your sister. All kinds of things can happen, medical difficulties, financial difficulties, uh, divorce, mental things, and as people are finding out today um, that are ending up living, more women and children than ever before are moving onto the street in their cars or in the woods. Uh, they're people, just they're, they're lovely people. Mm. Well, and you tell us that in the book and it's, and it's wonderful. Um, tell us a little bit how your worldview has changed now. You've, gone from a businessman to a homeless person, now an author of a book, but what's changed in terms of priorities for you and who you are as a person? If you went back uh, when I was 50 or 55, I never believed I'd be homeless. Uh, I always had this way of taking care of every problem, uh, and my family looked at me just like that, as sort of a, always had the answers. Uh, my life when I ended up living on the street, for the first time, when I became homeless, I learned who I was. I didn't need a Rolex watch to live. I didn't need three boats. I didn't need two, a house with two hot tubs. What I really needed uh, was something from the heart to be able to help people, something uh, deeper than, uh, than that. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, as people read this book, especially homeless people at the library, they get some hope and they say, uh, gosh, you know, uh, maybe something, maybe I will get some help tomorrow. Maybe something will happen for me. Uh, and I'm hoping the world becomes a better place by more and more people volunteering their time to help homeless people so we can, quote, get everyone that wants a home, a home. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you.